What's up, Leo? It's your girl, Sid, and welcome to Savvy Sentient, and welcome to your July 2021 general reading. As this is a general reading, it may resonate in any area of your life. This includes love and romance, family, friends, work, career, money, spirituality. So take it how it resonates. If you all are new here, please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Put some respect on my algorithm. Por favor, y gracias. If you are not new here, thank you for coming back. Thank you for messing with me, friend. <laughs> Regardless of whatever group you fall into, know that all of your viewership, all of your support, and likes are greatly appreciated. So thank you all for rocking with me. Um, Leo, this is the second time I'm doing your reading. So let's see how it goes. The first time felt very disjointed, um, very scattered, very everywhere. That may be some of you all's energy at this time. Um, but we'll just see what happens in this reading. Uh, during the meditation, I heard the song Daydreaming by Tatiana Ali. I know, throwback. <laughs> so I feel like that may be some of you all's energy as well. Daydreaming about, I don't know, your career goals, maybe a specific person, uh, what the future looks like to you. Um, I also seen a, what appeared to be like a blackened sun. Um, so like a solar eclipse. Uh, according to soul mind uh i'm sorry mindbodygreen.com um the solar eclipse is a time for you to reflect internally and embrace new opportunities deal with past themes from your life um, and this could also bring in new beginnings for you or like a surge of motivation to start a new path that is better suited for your soul okay um finding your purpose okay so we'll see how that plays into this reading. Let's get into it, Leo. We do have the Empress card, Creation, showing itself. What's the overall energy of this reading for Leo? Speaking of creation, I saw that. We have the Six of Wands, which is a card of victory and recognition, and the Magician, which is a card of manifestation and resourcefulness. All right. So gaining success and creating the life that you want. All right. I like that energy. <laughs> Way to start. Way to start, Leo. All right. So let's take a look into your recent past. Again, this can resonate in any area. So take it how it does. Recent past for Leo. Recent past for Leo. Recent past for Leo. Recent past for Leo. Oh, okay. That's nice. <laughs> All right. The first time you had a lot of cups energy, you already have two cups coming out. So let's just see. Okay, you actually have some of the same cards coming out. Different order, but definitely the same cards. Um, some new cards showing up as well. So let's talk. <laughs> All right, Leo. So in the recent past, we actually have a card that represents the past, the Six of Cups here. Um, I feel like this message is very clear. Um, you all are bringing balance to your past. So this could be um, not necessarily reconciling, but um, maybe conversing with someone from your past that you may have had a relationship with um, and just bringing balance to the events that have occurred. We have the Queen of Cups along with this as well. So bringing balance and healing um, into maybe like the way it was resolved was negative before. Uh, maybe there was no resolution. Maybe there was no closure. Uh, for some of you all, this may even go further back into childhood that Six of Cups is represented by children um, and does uh, represent your inner child as well. So you all may be bringing balance and healing into past situations, including your childhood situations. All right. Um, for some of you all, 
in the present, we have the lovers in reverse. It actually fell in the reverse. When I picked it up off the floor, it was facing me in the reverse. Um, I feel like you all are moving away <laughs> from things that you maybe thought were in alignment with you. I think you all have made the choice to step away from certain things, certain people that you thought were in alignment with you, um, but we're not. So you're moving into calmer waters, uh, releasing the past. So once again, common theme, releasing the past, moving away from what's not serving you. Um, even things that were major in your life, major relationships, um, whether they be friendships or romantic, uh, but you're moving away from that, okay? But I do feel in the present there is some type of conflict behind it. So you may feel, um, it may feel bittersweet. It may feel bittersweet for some of you all with the Five of Wands. Let's clarify the Five of Wands. <laughs> we have the Tower and the Nine of Swords. All right. So necessary change. It, it's necessary. All right. It's for your betterment, even if it is bringing you anxiety, even if it is stressing you out about uh, a little bit, even if it is bringing you conflict. This is something that is necessary. It had to be torn down in order for you to be successful, all right? So you, you needed a clean slate. You needed um, a solid foundation to rebuild on. But whatever it is that you believed in the past or whatever um, structure structural beliefs you had in the past, they needed to be torn down because it's time for you to start over, all right? We have the Queen of Swords and the Chariot in the near future. So the queen of swords, she is a divorced queen. She is someone who learns from her past um, and doesn't really tolerate a lot of bullshit. So moving forward, she is, and it doesn't matter if you're male or female, but just this energy is moving forward with the knowledge of the past, but also not tolerating any of the bullshit from the past, even if you see it in new people or new situations. This is moving forward with that type of determination with the chariot card um, and that type of clarity, that type of discernment, all right? We have new beginnings coming in for you, very passionate, uh, very inspired beginnings that are going to lead you to your ultimate happiness, that are going to lead you to your Ten of Cups, all right? So releasing the past, letting go things that did not serve you, uh, letting go of relationships, even if they were major and highly important to you, if they were not in alignment with you, um, because it was necessary, because it was necessary for your growth and it's necessary for you to reach your 10 of cups. All right. So let's pull some love oracles. These do resonate in other areas as well, which is why I love them. All right, messages for Leo. Messages for Leo. Wow, okay, four of them just all came out together as a team. Five of them. Yeah, endings bring new beginnings. The coffin card, growth, change, liberation, and transition. Some of you all had to liberate yourself from toxic situations, karmic situations. Um, and this is going to lead you to abundance. So keep that positive mindset. Manifest exactly what it is that you want. Show gratitude to the universe and stay in bliss. Stay in a happy, um, high vibrational energy. My, uh, manifestation is also mentioned here. The magician card led the reading. All right, we have the mask card. Not showing your true feelings. Hide, personify, pretend, delude, and gaslight. That may have been the reason why you had to separate yourself from certain people. Because they were uh, sorry, wearing a mask, being fake with you. We have the healing heart. Yeah, healing from that type of energy. Uh, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationships and addictions. Hey, you had to do what you had to do, Leo. It's for your own betterment. You had to do what you had to do. All right. And finally, uh, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, and focusing out. So some of y'all are looking at the biggest, the bigger picture. Um, but you all are definitely dealing with toxic people, or at least you were. And I feel like that's what you were cutting off. Any type of toxicity in your life, you have to let it go. Did you have to let it go? <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get some Moonology messages for you. Moonology messages for Leo. 
be bold and make the first move. So whatever it is that you're wanting, whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, don't wait for it to come for you. Get after that shit. All right. Messages for Leo. A win-win outcome is forecast. Self-explanatory. <laughs> self-explanatory and then finally communication is key so i feel like with this card communicate with the universe communicate with yourself about what it is exactly that you're wanting to manifest okay how does that look what does it take to get there all right be clear all right let's get some rebel messages for you leo rebel messages for leo Bible messages for Leo. Two more, please. Oh, too many. Can take that one. One more card for Leo. <laughs> Period. All right, first card to hit the table says, "Stop fucking whining." No one wants to listen to that shit. Complaining makes you weak. You have the strength to change your world, so do that. But Leo, king of the jungle, queen of the jungle, you already know that. And that's why you're in this manifestation uh, energy. Uh, good shit is about to happen, baby. Don't let your issues fuck it up. Again, you're already on top of that shit. That's why you had to let this, this bullshit from the past go. And then finally, it's time to let go. And did. And did, Leo. <laughs> Move the fuck on. You're already on it. So if you're not already on it, Leo, you need to be. You're about to be. Get into that energy. But the way that these cards fell out, I feel like a lot of y'all are already on top of that. All right. Uh, fire energy, y'all really aggressive. So I feel like you're already getting to it. All right. So let's get some advice for you and a message from Spirit. Let's get advice for the Leo Collective. Advice for the Leo Collective. That one went to jump. I'm going to take it. Okay. Yas, yas, yas. All right. <laughs> Let's get a postcard from Spirit. Messages for Leo, please. Okay. They talking to y'all today. They are wasting no time. No time. So your advice is go ahead and get after that new beginning. Chariot energy coming up again for you all. Willpower, determination. Stay focused. Stay focused. Rest, recovery, meditation. Don't forget to rest. I mean, stay, stay um, aggressive. <laughs> stay focused. Get after that that new that new beginning. Take that leap of faith. But don't forget to rest. All right. Um, and then finally, your postcard from Spirit says, Dear, Dearest you, isn't it amazing how things seem to come around again full circle in ways you couldn't possibly have planned? You wonder how a dream could die only to be resurrected years later when you're really ready. You thought it was time back then, but your wisdom knows better than your small self whose desires are unmet. Now here you are with a new opportunity to do things from a different, more mature perspective. We want you to trust that in this new opportunity for rebirth, you will be called in two directions. And the one that is unfamiliar will be the right one. In the unknown spaces, the uncharted places of infinite potential, we are waiting to guide you into your fullest life. Big bounty will come if you remain in the present. You have come full circle and now you can see everything changes, is made new and is given new hope. Loving you always. That's from the universe. All right, Leo. All right. Well, that has been your message, Leo. If this resonates for you, please let me know how in the comments below. Make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. And until the very next time I read for you, Leo, I wish you all love and light and everything right. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, Leo.